In this video, we're going to look at model orientation control. There are a few different ways to orient your models within GrabCAD Print, and you may find that some work better than others depending on your part geometry. First, let's go into the Orient menu, and I'm going to select my first part, the buckle clip. And the first option presented is the ability to rotate on an axis. So in this case, on the x-axis, I'm rotating at 90 degrees. I control the direction of the spin using the plus and minus buttons. So we'll rotate it minus 90 degrees and then back plus 90 degrees. And I can also change that value. So let's say I only wanted to rotate at 5 degrees. Again, I'm going to click this twice. I rotate it about 10 degrees and I'm going to put it back. The second option is this Orient Face to Plane. This allows you to select a plane on your part and choose the direction that it will face. So I'm going to pick the top of this kind of button shape here, click on it, and now I choose the direction I want that to face. So if I want this part to lay down flat, I want that plane to face the top. And now I have a quick way to get my part in the orientation I want. You may find, however, that on a part like this apple that's very organic and curved in nature, it's going to be fairly difficult to find a flat plane to orient to. For models like the apple, I prefer to use the 3D manipulator tool. Clicking this up here in the top menu, and then clicking on my apple model, you'll notice that I now have a manual rotation tool. So I can rotate the apple however I like. I'm just going to try and get it as flat as I can. It was pretty close before. Relatively quickly. It's not a precise tool, but it could be a quicker tool than guessing how much you want to turn in each axis again and again. In a previous video, we discussed how when Organizing your trays, you have the option to optimize your, your organization by reducing overall print time. The way this is done is it allows GrabCAD to reorient the parts for you to minimize that print time. In some cases, you may have parts on the tray that you're okay with that and others that you don't want it to change part orientation. To get it to be locked in place, simply click on the part, go back into the orient menu, and once you're happy with your current orientation, Click on the lock icon. This locks all orientation or any changed orientation on this particular part. You can confirm that the lock icon is present in the project window. And if I were going to hit uh, arrange this tray with the optimize button engaged, it would allow for the apple to change orientation, but it would keep the orientation I've selected for the buckle clip.